Assalamu alaikum this is me Dr Saifullah and I welcome you at this short video in this video I am going to talk about NOT specifically how we can calculate it in Microsoft Excel I will also share some tricks that can help you to calculate it in short time using formula in an earlier video I have explained that what is the NOT and the link of that video is shown in the upper right corner of your screen as well as placed in the description of this video. As discussed earlier, NOT has two types, ordinary NOT and DU NOT. In ordinary NOT, the payments are received at the end of the period, whereas in DU NOT, payments are received at the start of the year. For example, we have 100 cash flow that we will receive at 5% interest rate for 10 years. Now I am going to calculate its present value and future value for ordinary NOT and DU NOT. In financial management, we have studied that we can use these formulas to calculate the present value and future value of the ordinary NOT. And for the DU NOT, we use a different set of formulas. But in Microsoft Excel, we can use simple formulas, simple functions to calculate the present value or future value of ordinary or DU NOT just by few clicks. To calculate the present value, the function that we will use is so this function will be used rate that is interest rate 5% in our example NPER is the number of payment period that is 10 in our example and payment is the cash flows that is 100 in our example and future value is 0 and the type is for 0 for the ordinary annuity and one for the DU NOT. Similarly, we can use FV function to calculate the future value of this NOT, where rate is the interest rate that is 10, 5% uh, in our example, NPR, number of payment periods, PMT payments, that is cash flows, and FV is zero, and the type is zero for the ordinary NOT and one for the DU NOT. And we can calculate the future value of ordinary or DU NOT by using this formula. Let's start from the present value of ordinary NOT equal to place negative sign PV that is present value. Firstly, we will mention rate that is interest rate that is 5% in our example. Number of payments period NPER that is 10. Payments 100. Future value is 0. And we will select either payments are at the end of the period or at the start of the period. In ordinary entity, payments are at the end of the period. So we will select at the end of period that is zero. Bracket close and enter. So the present value of this ordinary entity is $772.17. And if we need to calculate future value, then equal to place minus sign FV future value start the parenthesis. The rate is 5%, number of payment periods 10, and the payments is 100, and the present value is 0, and payments at the end of the year, end of the period. So we will select 0 and close the parenthesis, press enter, and we have future value that is 1257.79. In the same way, we can calculate the present and future value for DU NOT equal to place minus sign PV for present value, start the parenthesis, rate, number of payment periods, payments, future value 0, comma, and payments at the beginning of the period. Close the parenthesis, press enter, and the present value will be calculated. Similarly, for the future value, equal to minus sign FV future value, start parenthesis, rate, NPER, payments, zero for present value, and type at the end of year. So and type at the start of year so select one close the parenthesis and enter so we have the future value of this dunt so we can use 
future value and the present value function to calculate present value or future value of any type of entity either it is ortony entity either it is, it is du entity we can calculate its present value and future value easily by using microsoft excel if you have any questions related to finance you can contact us through whatsapp or write in the comment section of this video i will try my best to answer your questions thank you take care allah peace